Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at what is essentially the standard Mauser Conehammer pistol. And uh, these were made from about 1896 to about 1898-ish, maybe 1899. Mauser used up some spare parts and sort of stopped and started production of these. Uh, cone hammers appear from serial number one through about 15,000 of Mauser production. But toward the end of that 15,000 uh, gun run, you're going to start seeing large ring hammer guns showing up quite frequently. So 15,000 were not made. Um, of cone hammers, after about 10,000, maybe 12,000, the majority seem to be large ring hammer guns. So probably something on the order of about 10 or 11,000 cone hammers were actually made between 1896 and about 1898. And again, uh, Mauser did make a few variants after that that had some of the features of cone hammers, like you'll see um, some early flat side guns with uh, cone hammer type lowers and triggers. And the Mauser factory was really good at using every part and they would make a weird variant of a broom handle using some old spare parts with new parts and you know it was just a case of not wasting what they had which made a lot of sense so this is a very standard cone hammer nothing particularly amazing about it uh, this is what you're going to be seeing if you are looking at the standard early cone hammers before 15,000 um, your cone hammer of course with the concentric rings and your early type safety which is the safety that was actually used through about 30 serial number 30 ish thousand you've got your uh, pulls your hammer back a little bit when it's in the up position and then sorry when it's in the up position actually it it uh, will rebound on the hammer so probably not something that you want to carry a loaded round on not that you're going to be carrying one of these loaded and in the down position and this one's pretty tight it actually locks that hammer in place and locks it back a little bit uh, the milling on cone hammers is always pretty uh, unique you're going to have these wide panel mills which on later broom handles are a little bit smaller and also your square milling is going to be a little bit bigger your grips are always going to be these wide serrated type grips they did use some other grips uh, from time to time like some mauser monogram type hard rubber grips but if you've got wood grips uh, they're almost always going to be these as always you've got your 10 round magazine which is accessed by pushing this in and then popping that off always remember if you do take a mauser apart to use some sort of plastic punch or something like that never use metal because you will end up slipping and scratching in a nice big scratch all the way across that and everyone will know you were an idiot and did that so use plastic trust me uh, in your typical back strap and front strap these are going to be cut for a shoulder stock as you can see and the serial number is only going to be repeated on the frame and then the hammer and then when you cock the hammer it's generally going to be right above the firing pin on the bolt as well not always but usually and this one has got the standard uh, cone hammer sight which is graduated to a thousand meters in increments of 100 and as you can see they just used a typical 1 to 10 which was pretty simple for the time and uh, you've got your nice fire blue on your on your small parts your fire blue on your extractor which is the long extractor that they were using at the time and they use that until about the 35,000 serial number range and then your um, typical chamber markings right here what you'll also notice with a lot of these is many of them under the barrel are proof marked uh, like Birmingham proof or something like that you'll see a lot of British proofs on these a lot went to England uh, this one did not I 
don't exactly know where this one went, but this one is not a British gun. Uh, they were pretty popular with British officers who were serving in Africa, who went to the Boer War. Uh, Winston Churchill certainly carried a broom handle cone hammer, and he I believe he lost it in the Sudan. And I don't believe it's ever actually been found. Uh, but yeah, this is just the typical what you're going to see when you're looking at a cone hammer and sort of the nothing special about it, standard cone hammer, nothing weird, no strange variant. There were bolo cone hammers made, there were six shot cone hammers, there were 20 shot cone hammers. They did a fair amount of experimentation with these early guns, but this is your standard 10 round gun that would have been for sale in a retail gun store in 1896 to 1898. As always, uh, if you've got any questions, if you've got a cone hammer, I'd love to hear about it. Always remember to like and subscribe for more comment or content. And as always, uh, drop a comment if you've liked what you've seen. And thanks for watching.